Hello everybody. I am Shitanshu from Dream Abroad and today I'm here with my friend Vaibhav. Hey guys. You've seen him in one of my previous videos which was about the student residence, but this video specifically is about studying in your 30s. We are in downtown Toronto. This is Nathan Phillips Square and a lovely vibe today. It's a summer evening and today in this video we'll be talking about some very special things for all those people who are in their early 30s. So of course getting the PR in Canada is getting increasingly difficult and it's not possible for everyone to get the PR now, right? And the best option if you want to immigrate to Canada is the study route. But often we relate studying with a certain age group. Sometimes we feel that we might have passed that age, especially if we are in our early 30s or maybe 40s even, we think that okay, study route is not for us and we might be facing a lot of challenges because we are well settled, we have a spouse, we have kids, obligations, a lot of financial obligations as well, right? You might have a home loan as well like that you have to repay. So we'll be talking about all those things in this video and of course we have got a great example of a success journey out of thousands of other examples as well uh, when people actually do it. So this video is going to be uh, you know sending a very positive vibe to you. Please watch this video till the end. This particular example of my friend he came here as a student last year and now he's got a job. He's in a position that he can provide job opportunities to other people as well. So we might be talking about that in an, another oh, video, right? Or maybe you can uh, actually follow us on LinkedIn. So I'll provide the link to both of our profiles uh, down here. But this video is going to be very interesting for all those people who are thinking of studying or choosing the study route in the early 30s. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Alright guys, so let's begin this video with the mindset and then of course we're going to talk about the challenges. Uh, you know, when at a particular age we think that okay, it might not be possible for us to go back to studies for pursuing a higher education. If we get a PR, it's possible. Maybe I'll try to move to Canada. But if we don't get the PR, then we will never think about uh, the study route. So by how do you want to tell about the mindset like when like let's start about uh, when you start talking to your wife or your family about it. How do you plan things? So first thing is as as a partner and uh, not considering you as a single person, you have to consider as there are uh, two people who will be moving together or if you have a kid then three people. Right. So it's just not you are moving to a different country, you are actually going to change completely your lifestyles, your way of living, the place where you are living. Your complete life is going to change. Complete life is going to change. So first decision is whether you want to, right. are you comfortable in handling those changes in your life or not? Because changing a country is a huge decision. So, so first very thing, big decision, right? you have to take decision. Mm -hmm. You want to move and if you want to move, then don't wait. Study route is the best option these days. Definitely, I was also looking for PR directly. But considering the COVID challenges, it was not possible at that time and things were getting delayed. Mm -hmm. I was in a situation where I was not having time to delay further. And I have to take the decision and I took the right decision. I was able to get uh, do, uh, complete my course, Humber College, Project Management, wonderful course. Key takeaway from this, uh, from this first segment probably would be that you have to take that decision. Probably you don't have the age factor with you. Of course, you know that is the biggest challenge for you right now. So you have to take that decision without wasting any more time. If you feel that, okay, now going further, I like it's not possible. You don't see the scenario that, okay, you'll be getting the PR in the next, uh, you know, next couple of months or next maybe one year. For whatever reason, if you have to choose the study route, at least don't waste time in taking that decision. If you, if you think about like two years down the line, oh, when I was maybe 30, then I would have thought about it. So you'll regret that. So instead of regretting, it's better you take that decision right away. So but it's never late. Yeah, it's but never late. It's never late. It's never late. But of course, challenges will keep building up. Definitely. Like as in, uh, as in when you like maybe your, your kid is getting older and then at that point of time you're thinking of uh, moving to Canada, you'll have more challenges, right? Okay. So now we're going to talk about the challenges. Uh, so 
first of all there would be many types of challenges of course convincing your uh, family now you have a spouse maybe kids uh, maybe of course your your parents maybe your extended family where your in-laws are there of course you have to convince everybody that yes we are going to take this big decision and it's going to go all right so starting with your uh, family so like of course it's a decision that you know that there are, would be challenges going further it's not like you move to canada and your problems are get resolved challenges start from that day and of course both the spouses at least should be on the same page exactly so first thing and the biggest thing was to to convince my spouse that okay we are in such a stage that we have to take such huge decision mm-hmm. we'll going to move to a new country we'll going to live among lots of new people new mm-hmm. culture new work culture so definitely it's a huge decision and of course here a very important thing is that there there's a spouse if there's a couple who is going to take that step who's going to study so maybe it's the husband or is the wife you both have to decide that right exactly exactly because there are, uh, there are lots of colleagues of mine lots, lots of peers who actually wife came to Canada. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They were in that, that situation and they were having such kind of career line that they can have a much more flourishing career after completing a course here mm-hmm. to start with, which is very important. Right. So that's very important. Please take care of that. Then about convincing other family members as well. Then it's it's definitely difficult, but it is doable because right. it's you and your wife who are going to live your life together. Right. Who have to take care of each other till eternity or depends on people <laughs> right we can't come in yeah but yeah definitely it's a huge decision so mm-hmm. once your spouse is convinced then you are not alone who is convincing someone right. you are two people working together toward common goal and uh, convincing all people around who are associated with you and your decision sure so probably the biggest takeaway from this challenge is that uh, you and your spouse should be convinced that whatever challenges you're going to face in the next couple of years you're going to face them together and with a strong bond right definitely and that is something which is very important right the so, reason i'll tell you there there are times when you will be in such a situation where you just need mental support to stay and to continue your journey here exactly right so coming to my second challenge living a well settled life and taking care of the financial liabilities we were talking about early 30s so probably we are talking about those people who are well settled in their life they have jobs probably they've got a good experience in their job so they are earning good as well and they have to leave their well uh, settled life good earning job start their student journeys and student journeys never easy uh, you know you don't get that big space big uh, three bedroom apartment to live of course you have to compromise with a lot of things right exactly and so that other video i have already talked about exactly. the place yeah yeah exactly so you know of course there are challenges but you should be ready to uh, you know enjoy those challenges you are going back to student life so enjoy those things but talking about the financial challenges so how do you take care of the financial challenges so one thing is if i particularly look toward my case i was having some assets with me mm-hmm. liquid assets i took support from my wife my uh, parents did provide me some support when it was required but yeah definitely i was having pretty long career with me uh and good position i have made some good money during that period and that was very helpful for me to continue my journey uh in canada i was working till initial 3 month i was working in my indian job here so i was getting some good money from that that was a good portion of settlement yeah so this this obviously might differ from one person to the other definitely uh but of course you should have some money so of course uh, all those financial challenges would be there but it depends from one person to the other how you going to take care of that but that thing obviously should be in your mind is that as Do well plan yeah you the should plan plan is important planning is very important uh because financial planning is something which will going to make sure whether you are living a comfortable life during your study journey back to college or you are struggling right there are ways to settle your financials you might have some assets with you you might have some liquid assets you might have some liquidable asset for example stocks bonds one of the key asset which person who's at early 30s have pf with them right it's in few lakhs mm-hmm. so can be used so there are lots of uh, options available to use but that particular person have to look toward his background how much assets he is having mm-hmm. there are people who comes with the education loan mm-hmm. they take the education and they are able to pay it off mm-hmm. in timely manner as well so uh, depends on the person's profile what kind of financial management you will going to do but definitely most important part is plan plan your expenses how you will going to take care of your expenses till the time you are getting your first job whether you have to get into a part time job what kind of part time job you will going to get 
if you are working in a restaurant best place to work you get right. like two times of meal almost at the play workplace mm-hmm. and you are making money so yeah definitely there are very different kind of jobs which you can uh, opt to manage your finances when you are in canada and good option is that if your spouse is there back in india if she is working she can definitely support you financially mm-hmm. uh, in your ongoing journey toward the study till the time she is arriving okay so of course there will be other challenges as well but one challenge that you might face uh, is that you might have to live apart and so your spouse is in your home country and uh, you might be in canada and that might be for quite a while so for his in particular case i guess it's around one year now it's one year right so uh, there there are of course ways around it how you want to do it there are two ways to come that if your wife is working she could be a very good support and help for you that uh, i just want to pause here i mean it could be in the case of wife or husband either of, yeah, either of them spouse right so that's a better word to use right yeah. so uh, if your spouse is working so uh, your working spouse can provide you the ongoing financial support mm-hmm. and if you have some liabilities because i'm assuming that at early 30s you might have a home and you might have a huge liability to repay your home right, loan right so she can take care of that during that uh, journey right. the period right right other option is that you can apply your uh, spousal work permit as well together mm-hmm. and generally people say that the success rate is not high but i have seen if people are doing things correct mm-hmm. at the right time and putting up right sops mm-hmm. explanations and everything it is happening and it does happen mm-hmm. it happens for complete family mm-hmm. so then that's the best case scenario right your spouse is open having open work permit she can get a wonderful job the place where we are standing right now we have ey we have delight all the companies together right. they give those kind of job at the con- at contract and actually contract jobs are much higher paying than the full time jobs mm-hmm. so there are options definitely right okay so of course the next level of challenges are the challenges that you would face after coming to canada so uh, of course we have a well settled life and uh, we are coming here uh, we don't we don't have any job as such so you might have to search for the part time job you have to take care of uh, a lot of things right so what about that so definitely arrival to canada will going to be challenging there is no doubt you have to manage lots of things you have to compromise with lots of things the way you live your life earlier back there in india when you are having a settled job then struggling for a part time job different kind of part time jobs you might get you have to definitely work at late hours sometimes you have to manage your all the finances together so that you are at least able to survive well till the time your course is getting completed right and then you are getting a full time job mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. that one part is that do proper financial planning how you are managing then temperature winter don't waste lots of money in bringing lots of winter clothes together everything is available and everything is manageable reasonable so just don't uh, overburden your luggage with unnecessary winter clothes you have to buy it over here but yeah things are still doable people do it every year hundreds and thousands of people come and they are able to manage so it's not something which is non doable so of course uh, i mean i think this this aspect is not specific to your age group um uh, there would be challenges of course we have talked about some and there might be some other challenges for some other people which we might not be even aware case about specific. right case specific right so um uh, I mean the take away from this video I think would be that yes there would be challenges so first of all you should have the right mindset um you should not waste time first of all to take that decision then after that you like you and your spouse at least two of you should have, should be convinced enough that uh, you would be taking away all those challenges and fighting them together then after that uh, you know planning it planning everything like uh, let's say if you have to go after one year if you're planning september of 2023 then in that case you can start saving from like right away uh, in a way that you don't you don't plan trips uh, like luxurious trips and you save more money yes. so next one year after that when you have when you're in canada you are able to like at least you have less struggles right yes then after that uh, you have to plan your work permit for the spouse or you have to plan about your spouse working so you can manage your finances easily so those are some of the key takeaways anything apart from that that you want to point out uh so i would say see definitely it is challenging coming at that age taking such a big decision but i would say i am not undermining anything definitely there are challenges but it is doable you might find good job definitely challenging period but yes sun always arrives after a dark night it's always there 
but there are good things happening here there are good people around and you might get some wonderful things to follow and to pursue and that that would be the time when you'll gonna say okay my decision was right at right time right so guys i really hope that you would have liked this video the uh, takeaways from this video should always be positive and uh, you know of course challenges are going to be there but at whatever age you are taking this decision you should be ready to take up those challenges you should plan properly and of course uh, you know if you are coming to canada this is a land of opportunities and everyone finds some opportunity it's just the conviction that will convince you and your spouse to take that big decision that's right okay so having said that we'll end this video here and we will try to roam around and enjoy this lovely place thanks a lot and thanks a lot bye for another video no problem <laughs>